Okay, WeChat server. This should be alright. <laughs> Still the same, I need 80. That is uh, 144 tickets. So I have 12, I need 132. How much is 132? Direct buy it will be 1062 diamonds. Okay, lah, 1000 diamonds for a, a car like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna lower the price a bit. I'm not gonna use, not gonna buy it straight away. I'm gonna use all my uh, coupons. Eh? So I'll fast forward. I'll buy 24 first. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven and a half. And that's it. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, there you go guys. Uh, Supernova permanent and uh, Scarlet Duke permanent. Thousand diamonds <laughs> just for Scarlet Duke because there's no other way to get this car right now. There was in Latam, but uh, since Latam has no new updates and it's gonna shut down, I'm getting Scarlet Duke here. <laughs> Never imagine I'd get this car. Never imagine I'd spend for this car. But this is for the tier list that I want to do later. Okay, guys. So I'm going to review Scarlet Duke now. This was the lowest ranking car before the Infinity Chip uh, update that time, <laughs> and it's also one of the hardest uh, hardest cars to get because there's only one kind of gacha to get this, and now there is no more. Only Latam server had this permanent, easy easy to exchange to and get permanent. But GST and QQ, you can't get this car anymore. Well, now that the new gacha brings back all the old cars, <laughs> I hope this is worth it. Okay, so uh, let's look at the car's characteristic. For the first 30 seconds, your nitro duration plus 5% and retain 40% and tank when colliding with the wall. That's what it says. Eh? And yeah, character, the stats are quite bad eh? if you look at it. But this is uh, full modded already but no infinity chip yet eh? we are reviewing without infinity chip first and then after infinity chip and then awakening so this is still no infinity chip but full mod is left 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 okay so let's test scarlet dude without infinity chip first so normal speed is 200.3 Double boost 243.4 CWW 305.3 WCW 288.1 And WCWW 309.6 Okay now this is still within 30 seconds eh? so let's wait after 30 seconds and see if there's any difference yeah now nah, i'm gonna cut this part right here don't forget it only increases the nitro duration that's all 30 seconds doesn't increase any speed it's just nitro is slightly longer and you have uh end tank retain 40 percent eh? like right now there isn't all oh, the nitro totally gone but for the first 30 seconds, you will retain 40% of the end tank. Eh? So let's say... There you go. There is a bit nitro safe. 
but this is only for 30 seconds eh? after that it's gone okay when the tier list of without infinity chip last time uh, this was counted the lowest tier but it's not really the lowest car ranking it's just in the tier eh? the lowest in the tier uh, the lowest tier I mean but now with infinity chip there's a lot of buffs same like supernova there's a lot of buffs here okay characteristic also slightly change still 30 seconds still nitro duration plus five percent but your end tank uh you uh retain 60 percent instead of 40 percent now it's 60 percent so it's slightly more but that that's all eh? and a lot of other stuff increase here base max speed charge time mini boost power nitro power base power mini boost max speed nitro max speed collision weight i think <laughs> okay 1800 yep same like supernova so now infinity chip and let me confirm the modding left 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 yes correct so now after infinity chip let's test this again oh and i forgot to mention since this is qq speed mobile there is a garage buff eh don't forget there's a garage buff also here so now normal speed is 202.4 double boost 246.4 CW now 310 exactly WCW 292.4 and WCW 314.4 and you save 60% end tank when you collide with the wall eh? and but it's still 30 seconds eh? after 30 seconds no more So even though it's 310 on CW, remember the garage buff. Eh? So I assume that all cars, uh, the garage buff increase is uh, maybe 1.3 kilometers per every car. But I think it might not be correct because uh, mini boost uh, max speed for every car is not the same. Eh? But I assume it's 1.3. So, if without the garage buff in QQ, Scarlet Duke CW is like 308.7, I think. So, it's 308 after Infinity Chip, eh? that's my uh, guess. But I might be wrong. If you guys have Scarlet Duke in GST, you can test it yourself and tell me what's the actual speed. <laughs> okay, anyway, that is with Infinity Chip. How about with Awakening? Also 90, eh? 90 if it's a very, really really old car that needs a lot of buff so like like supernova that day i uh awakened wow it feels like like current speed pass car what about scarlet dude another 90 eh? so i need 81 oh boy i need 27 more okay so now with awakening Base max speed plus 0.7, nitro max speed plus 0.2, mini boost max speed plus 0.2, base power plus 2.5, nitro power plus 2.5, mini boost power plus 4, charge time plus 0.3, mini boost duration plus 0.02, collision weight 150, and I don't know what's the bottom one. <laughs> so how is it now? Normal speed is 203.1, okay. Double boost 247.3 CWW 311 okay plus one WCW 293.3 and WCWW 315.5 wow okay It really does feel a bit better. Characteristic is still kind of lousy still, but okay lah. Let's try this out in rank. And we got Paris in Dreams. Okay, 
Well, this doesn't look good. So we have ISO, Skywalker, the Renault Speed Pass, and Tika. Oh no. Oh no. Can I continue? Alright, nice. Just need to beat these two ice souls. Oh. That's a mistake. Oh no, I missed up. Oh no, I'm forced now. Nope! No! Ah, I could have overtaken. Ah, la. Well, the car is better now, but. <laughs> Something is still weak that I maybe still having trouble advance with this car still. Alright, what a what a start. Let's try that again. And please no, not city eleven. Oh no. <laughs> no, this is not good. <laughs> I already got trauma while practicing this map and there's two LYRs here. Uh okay. <laughs> No, it was me somehow doing this. Nope. What the hell? One forty eight. <laughs> okay. I guess I've been practicing this map a bit. <laughs> and number one was Ice Soul. Eh? Let's try another game and maybe I don't want Atlantis this time. <laughs> But please don't give me CT11. Okay. New map. Surprisingly, no T car this time. But I still is a problem now. <laughs> a problem in both servers, GSD and QQ. <laughs> oh, nice. I forgot to play this map.
Oh. Well, I fell down just now, but it's okay. I got first. And if you're wondering, this is Nova One, eh? About to go to Supreme soon. <laughs> okay, so I think that's enough for Scarlet Duke. One of the old cars that really counted as irrelevant, but with Infinity Chip, it makes it relevant a bit. With Awakening, makes it balanced already now. So. I would give this car same, uh, I don't know what tier number where I would give it but it's the same level with Supernova that I reviewed that time. It's about the same, it feels the same. The only, uh, weak, even though it's here, it looks like the, what is this, Drift? Is it Drift or Tenna? Forgot what is this but it looks like it's very low right? But when I use this car, it feels like Feels like no problem. <laughs> Feels like it's alright. The advanced drift might be a bit, uh, a bit difficult, but not as bad as uh, some old cars. Uh, because the awakening and the infinity chip has uh, fixed all the old cars, uh, makes all the old cars balance again. The only downside is characteristic. Uh, same like supernova. The characteristic is not that uh, much of a deal. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, uh, you gain end tank, you save 60% end tank um, if you hit a wall. Well, if you're mistaking a lot, maybe that might <laughs> help you a bit. I guess the nitro duration might be might might have uh, help a bit. Nitro duration plus 5%. Not sure how much is plus 5%. If it says how many seconds, I guess I can tell. But this one I can't tell. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Scarlet Duke. Uh, Still, eh, I prefer the current meta cars and uh, the current speed pass um, or voucher, whatever, because their characteristics are old cars. Eh. But at least these old cars, uh, performance wise, they are balanced with the current cars. Eh, okay? So, yeah, Awakening in here is like 46. Well, I have 46 cars, but there's more than 46. Eh. There's like 90 plus and eh? 94 cars there, including bikes. Eh? 94A cars and bikes total that you can awaken. But in GST, there's like only 20 something or 30 something, I think. I don't remember. So, GST awakening, some cars still not available. But don't worry, it will, it will become available soon. They just uh, take time. They need, they need old cars to be irrelevant, only then they will awaken. And I don't know when the second level awakening will come out. What what kind of buff would that be, I wonder. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I think that's it for this review. And I think that's all I needed for the tier list. I can finally update my CW tier list later on. If I have time, I'll do that uh, video as well, okay? Because now I kind of have all the data I needed for the CW. <laughs> That's why I bought this uh, Scarlet Duke and Supernova just for the review. I could have searched but it's a bit tough to find. Okay, anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time.